smoking? Hi, James. I live at 40 East Hastings and I can't open up my window because the drug addicts underneath my window stink so bad. And you know what uh, else is really bad? It's hard to hear that. Okay, you, you know what else is really bad? Our British Columbia um, uh, politicians kill more freaking Canadians and call it euthanization than any province. You're setting us all up to be euthanized. I prefer to be bombed, to tell you the truth. That's how I'm going to go out to the pieces, fucking bombed. But uh, yeah, I would like you to clean up our, our underneath our window. The smell is hideous. I, I was hoping they would burn us down yesterday when they had a tent fire there and the flames were five feet, but they got rid of it and got rid of all the evidence too. But uh, yeah, I can't open up my window. The stink is absolutely freaking hideous. You know, they didn't even clean our sidewalk for months and people pee and poop on it. Our building is hideous at 40 East Tasty. Yeah, so am I, so am I. I mean, I got my window open because I'm recording this conversation for my YouTube channel, you know, to tell people how we live down here. And uh, yeah, I have my window open and my little GoPro outside and the smell is hideous. It's absolutely hideous. How am I supposed to get fresh air? We don't even have fresh air, but get some air in my apartment. I mean, it's just hideous. And all night long, the tent underneath, the drug dealer comes every few hours to drop off more fucking drugs and they're doing drugs all night and all day. So they're not just homeless people, they're drug dealers under my. Oh, and they threaten me too. Threatened to break my back. I had to send a cop over there to tell them not to break my back. If they're gonna hurt me, or at least have the decency to freaking cut my throat, slit my throat. I'm very upset today that I can't even open up my window. I'm, I'm very upset that they didn't burn down my building yesterday. And I'm very upset they're under my window and they stink and they're allowed to sell drugs. And I live in the worst neighborhood in Canada, in the highest homicidal province. Our government doesn't know humans have souls and they're sending people blood sacrifices. Satanic blood sacrifices right to fucking hell. Oh, and how's real? Because the hospital killed me and I've already been there. For trying to kill myself and they killed me for three and a half minutes. They overdosed me. So how's real? Three and a half flashbacks of hell. So you can see how I feel knowing I live in the most homicidal country. Homicidal province. And the worst neighborhood. And we all qualify for euthanization. Can you please do something about the tent, the blue tent with no freaking, uh, no sides. And that drug dealer, if that drug dealer keeps threatening to kill me or, or break my back, I, I, I'm pretty close to jumping out of the window right on top of her because um, honestly, nobody's mentally healthy down here. It's impossible to be mentally healthy down here. I sure in the hell ain't. So if you've been getting verbal threats... Oh yes, the police were... Police, I got it online. Yeah. It's online. The police were right yeah. there. The police were there and they did fucking nothing. The police were all there because someone was throwing paper out of the window. There was like 50 cops on the street listening and not one of them fucking did anything. It's on my live. Yeah. Yeah. It's on my live feed. I hate my country. I wish my country would be bombed to nothing. I wish my neighborhood would have been bombed because you know what? I didn't have to witness the cops doing nothing while a big fat drug dealer is threatening to break my back and the cops did nothing because they were too busy. Someone was throwing paper out of the window because they were going nuts in their apartment. Yeah, and I, I was on live. I was live when that all went down. So it's in one of my big videos. So please remove that tent. We don't need drug dealers on our block. Right, of course. Yeah. Right. Especially ones that threaten us. 40 East Hastings. 40 East Hastings. Yeah, I would much appreciate that. And um, this structure is just a one large structure? One large structure with a whole bunch of garbage. Just garbage. I wish that garbage would have started on fire because my building would have started on fire and I would have packed and moved. I would have been fucking singing, Hallelujah! <laughs> I hate my building. The manager is horrible. She's absolutely horrible. She now lets drug addicts in the hallway. You can't go into the, the stairwell because you might step on a needle. Oh, and she refuses to ever clean the ground. We had her ground clean. Our sidewalk has been power washed maybe three or four times throughout the whole pandemic. You drop anything on our ground, it's pretty well diseased. I think she wants more people to die. I don't think enough people are dying down here for our, our crappy manager. I mean, over half of my building died. 
Especially after the jab, half drop dead. <laughs> you can be sure I said freaking no. I thought, oh, oh, I'll wait to see what happens. Oh yeah, half of my building died. Was that, they were rolling bodies past my unit. So I started smoking inside because there was just too much death for me. So I live in a building of 80 some units and over half died. Maybe three quarters of people died now. I'm surrounded by death and shit shows. And live in the province with the most homicidal freaking people operating our province. And they don't even know that we have souls and we're different from animals and they're sending these people to hell. Is that enough information for you? Yeah, a lot of information. I'm gonna go ahead and send that uh, about the removal of the tent from the city property, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank um, you. Oh, and the drug dealer, I go live now. Her silver car is always coming every little few minutes, you know, like every couple of hours to drop off her fresh hard drugs to kill people. And she makes so much money. Last year she was catching the, uh, what do you call it? The, she was catching the, uh, the cabs because she makes so much money. Me and my dog can't even afford to get on a cab. But, uh, and now, because she's such a successful drug dealer. Do you know? Oh, wow. She has a car, a silver car. And wow. I'm going to be every day, you know, live, yeah. watching her come and go. Yeah, she hardly sleeps because she's delivering drugs all the time. I'm pretty pissed off. Pretty yeah. pissed off. Do you know how pissed off I am that the cops were were listening to her threaten me and not one of them could fucking say a word? Just thinking about it makes me want to jump on my win out of my window on top of them. But I'm going to hold back because I got a lot of cannabis and I don't want to die today. So I'm going to let you go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you.